Quel exhaustion! Quel exhaustion! That's all I can say. Oh, my dear. Thank goodness this party is almost at an end. But you know something? I'm always asked, and I may tell you this trays on team between the two of us. I'm always asked during my television program, Sybil, how do you get rid of unwanted guests, especially when they stay on and on and on, ignoring the fact that you've turned the clock forward three hours? I just had Victorine do that. Victorine, did you turn the clock forward to 6.15? They think it's 6.15 a.m. and still they linger on and on. Hello, Deborah. Um, so, darlings, I have a tip for you. If you ever want to get rid of house guests who have stayed on too long, and who was it who said this? Oh, Benjamin Franklin, I believe, was the one who said, um, house guests and fish begin to smell after two days. House guests and fish begin to smell after two days. Oh, it's sense of humor, yet so brainy, brainy, brainy. Why didn't he vote for that man for president? I don't know. I'm sure John Adams and Thomas Jefferson didn't do anything as clever. But anyway, house guests and fish do smell after two days, and this crowd began to smell after three hours. So, darling, we must get rid of them, and I know just how. Two words of advice. Two words. Use two words on this crowd, and they'll stampede out of here. You won't believe it. Are you ready? <laughs> watch, watch, watch. All right, everybody. Home movies! Home movies, everybody! Into the screening room! Yes, Miss Yorishi, the green bar the doors! We shan't want any of our company to miss the very bit! Home movies! Into the screening room! Heard them in, please! Into the screening room! Screening room, oh, see, I didn't say screaming room! Yes, all right, heard them in, and we're going to have civil brunch in home movies! <laughs> oh, darling, watch this, you won't believe it. I'll kill this crowd within 15 minutes, it'll be a record. Come see! All right, everybody, slide time. Mr. Rishi, please turn on our projector. And first slide, please. Ah, this is a view from my hotel room um, moments after the San Francisco earthquake occurred. Now, here you see the entire northern portion of the city in flames. And oh my, it's, it's quite extraordinary looking, isn't it? Such a rosy glow on the horizon. It really does wonders for one's complexion, doesn't it? And see, I think that you can see Jeanette McDonald. Oh yes, there she is. Hello, Jeanette. And she's singing, um, oh, what was that song she sang? Um, clang, clang, clang went the trolley to someone like uh, Diane Feinstein or um, Clark Gable or something. But anyway, it was a most extraordinary event, and thank goodness they were able to capture it on film. But uh, let's get on with our next slide, shall we? Ah, quel dramatique! Oh, this is a slide of Mount St. Helens at that dreadful moment. Well, when it blew its top, a little bit of ancient Pompeii in the 20th century, n'est-ce pas? Oh, Jerry, Jerry Zipkin, didn't you invest in some sort of um, cabin or something or real estate up on that dreadful mountain? Oh, my dear, you must try and be better prepared at these sorts of things. Timing is everything in real estate. You should be watching more of those National Geographic or Jacques Cousteau specials. Anyway, um, let's go on, shall we? Next slide, please, Monsieur Rishi. Ah, Amelia Earhart. And there she is with her charming little biplane. What was the name of that biplane, Susie? Um, Fido or Sappho or something. Anyway, it was quite lovely. Ah, lovely. Um, this is, what? No, that's not the Titanic, Otzi. That is the Lusitania. The Lusitania, what a lovely ship that was. And this photograph is taken just after that unfortunate run-in with that nasty torpedo. Nasty Mr. Torpedo hit the ship at that exact moment. And of course, what a damper that put on my brunch that morning. I had a guest list of over 45 people. And you know, I don't know how many children were lost on that ship. I know it was a great many, but they were all the most very disagreeable children you could imagine. So, well, what kind of loss could it have been? <laughs> yes, here's a slide. Ah, Monsieur Rishi, please focus. Focus, 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 focus. Lovely, lovely. Um, this is the Titanic. We owe it some respect. Quel disaster, eh, hey, everybody? <laughs> now, this slide was taken right after we struck that nasty, big, mean iceberg. And it was taken by my lovely maid, Victorine. And she's quite handy with a camera and a pinch, isn't she? She took this just... Well, she took it right at that moment, and she was in a lifeboat. Oh, how convenient, you know? And I believe this is the moment... Yes, there's Captain whatever his name was. Oh, how unfortunate for that Captain. But I was just about to ask him for some fresh ice for my drink, and well, timing, timing, timing! <laughs>